Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at EFI Droid, a second stage UEFI bootloader for Android that will allow us to run some apps pre-boot and also enable us to multi-boot our system. If you want to learn more about EFI Droid, I will have the link over here on the screen and also in the description down below. So for today we're going to be running EFI Droid on the OnePlus One, which I have over here. And let's get started. In order to install EFI Droid, you have to visit the Play Store and search for the EFI Droid Manager. Hit install and the download will begin. Now keep in mind that EFI Droid requires uh, bootloader unlocking, root uh, permissions and all that stuff. If you don't know what that is, check out the XDA developer forums, I have the link in the description below. So moving on, let's open up the EFI Droid app and as you can see it will load the device info and check if your device is compatible and ask you for root permissions which we will grant and you will be granted by this empty screen which shall list our, all our operating systems. But for now, let's just slide over and go where it says install update. And you will be presented with this screen if your phone is compatible, where we will just hit install. It will download the EFI Droid system and it will install it on your phone. Just give it a minute or two. And there you have it, it's installed, as you can see over here, it has all the information about the build. Now, once we have installed DFI Droid, we can head over back to the main screen over here where it says operating systems and hit the plus sign on the down right. And as you can see, it will bring up the screen which will help you create a new operating system entry for EFI Droid, where you can select the icon of uh, your new entry. We're not gonna do that for now. Select the location where you want to install it and also select what type of operating system you're gonna be installing. We're also gonna list the name. I'm going to be installing uh, Andro Paranoid Android. So let me just do that. Right, let me put the description. There you go. And then we're gonna slide over to see the partitions where you can just change some of these parameters. I'm just gonna leave them untouched for now. And we're gonna hit the check mark. This will now bring up this screen where it will create all the partitions. And when it's successful, you will see the listing over here. So now once we have done all that, let's just power off our phone. And power it back on. As you can see, you will now be greeted by the EFI Droid menu. There you go, this is your welcome screen. The navigation on EFI Droid happens with these three keys, the power key over here, and with the volume buttons. So now let's just click on power to move on. And as you can see, it has listed the ROMs over here. I have the new ROM partition for Paranoid Android. I have my internal ROM, which is Resurrection Remix. And I can also move down with the volume buttons to select TWRP and hit the power button to boot it up. But I'm not going to do that right now. If I, if I want to access the EFI Droid settings, I just scroll down to the end of the list and until the settings icon over here is highlighted and I just click power. And we can configure some options over here, but I'm not really going to go through them. You also have this option to enable the file explorer. I will do that just to show you guys. So EFI Droid is not just about multi-booting your phone, but it's also about running these apps before your system boots up. So we have this file explorer here, which will show you all these partitions. I'm not really gonna go through them, but it's a file explorer, guys. It actually works. Uh, you can also boot up to the fast boot mode, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit TWRP and boot up the Paranoid Android TWRP. Now remember, each ROM on your phone has a different TWRP partition, which means that you have multiple recoveries. So we just booted up the TWRP for our Paranoid Android ROM. Now we can go freely and just wipe all the partitions that we want and flash as, as if we would normally. Uh, but I have already done that, I have already flashed Lineage instead of Paranoid Android. For some reason I couldn't get Paranoid Android to boot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how the ROM boots up. Now we've rebooted back to EFI Droid and we're gonna go down to Paranoid Android which is now actually Lineage and hit the power button and it's gonna say booting the ROM. And there you go, Lineage OS is booting up. Now I'm not gonna wait for the boot process to go through so I'm just gonna hit the power button and go back to 
if I draw it on my main ROM. Okay, so now what I'm gonna basically show you guys is, okay, you have installed the ROM, you've played around, but you don't wanna keep it. So let's go back to EFI Droid, open the app. And in order to delete your secondary ROM, you just go ahead and pull it down and hit delete. And there you go, your ROM has been deleted. Now, if you want to uninstall EFI Droid completely, just slide over here and you go to install update and you just hit this icon over here and this will remove EFI Droid from your phone. And there you have it guys, multi-booting with EFI Droid. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up below. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and please make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. I will see you in the next video.